Brookie Hawa Brakata, Yahawisha, Brookie Yahawa Brakata, Yahawisha, Bahashan, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity lesson will be entitled, Not Looking Good, Brav. <laughs> Source Natural News. Um, article entitled, Rising Cost. Shrinking consumer spending and changing customer habits, pushing more restaurants into bankruptcy. Published 10 25 24. At least 10 major restaurant chains have filed for a chapter 11 bankruptcy this year due to rising costs, shrinking consumer spending, and the disappearance of fill in the blank financial support. In August alone, three notable Restaurant chains sought bankruptcy protections. Mediterranean fast casual chain Roti filed on August 23rd, citing challenges from high operation operating costs and decreasing foot traffic in downtown areas. Earlier this month, Buca di Beppo, Beppo and World of Beer also turned to Chapter 11 due to restructure their businesses amid rising labor costs and inflationary pressures. In June, Rubio's, a fast casual chain known for its fish tacos, filed for bankruptcy protection, citing the burdens of higher labor costs and dwindling lunchtime crowds due to the popularity of hybrid and remote work patterns cutting into sales. Milk Bar and Grill, a Cleveland-based grilled cheese chain, also saw Chapter 11 protection after its restaurant count shrank to just four locations. Kuma Holdings, the parent company of burger chain Kuma's Corner, also filed for bankruptcy protection the same that same month. In May, Red Lobster, once a seafood giant, also filed for bankruptcy protection, citing its struggles with high leasing costs, increasing competition, and poor strategic decisions like its ill-fated endless shrimp promo for $20 that cost the company millions in April. Tijuana Flats, a fast casual tech mix chain, tech mix chain, also filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. At the time, the Tijuana Flats also announced new ownership under Flatheads LLC and the closure of 11 restaurants as part of its restructuring. So look, it's over, man. It's over. And this is what happens when the middle class is attacked. And eventually, like we always go into, Revelation 13 and 16, just for the point. And he calls all both small and great, no middle, rich and poor, no middle, free and bun, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 12. And verse 3, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. The keepers of the house is your economist. When you go into that term, economy, it means house management. So who manages the house? Your economist. In the day when the keepers of the house, the economists, shall tremble, and the strong men, rich men, shall bow themselves, because this is becoming a humbling time frame for them. Now think about it. When the middle class is being wiped out, the upper middle class will be affected. And if they don't have enough money to sustain themselves, they're going to drop down from upper middle class all the way down to poor. That's how it works. And the ground is ceased because there are few. The ground is ceased because there are few going into the need of employment. You can't find a job. And if the middle class is not participating, okay, during lunchtime, dinner time, or on the weekends, and so on and so forth, yes, these restaurant chains must file for bankruptcy, okay? will support these um, these restaurant chains. Your middle class. If the middle class is thriving, the economy is thriving. 
if the middle class is being affected, of course your economy will be affected. So again, and the grinders cease because there are few, and that's the reason why you have certain restaurant chains filing bankruptcy because the middle class is not bringing the income like they used to be. So in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the ground is cease because there are few and those that look out of the windows be dark. And so a lot of these people that are in these restaurant chains, okay, they're going to have to find a new profession. Even strategic marketing is not helping them because people are fucking broke. And in most cases, as inflation continues to inflate, the hourly stays the same. So now you have this big gap. So pretty soon, right, the restaurant chain will be doomed, completely doomed. Traveling will be completely doomed. People purchasing basketball and football tickets for these games, for like for the NBA, NFL, okay? All that shit will be doomed because we're coming to a time frame People will have to strategize on what's more important. Okay, is it going to a game or traveling throughout the United States or outside of America for a weekend or a week? And then you come home, you're broke, right? We're coming to a time frame where necessities, okay, will be the primary and your miscellaneous bullshit will be completely cut off. And this is all by design. Yahweh Bashem Bashem controls everything. Although Esau is part of the left hand of the Most High. Okay? So again, um, and those that look out the windows be darkened and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Lord will, this was an edifying lesson. Shalom.